Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Mass Doc channel on YouTube. We have a very interesting factor over here. Let's get started. Two of the things that's very important when you're doing factor is difference of square, which is a minus b, a plus b. Okay. Two other lesser known one is this: a cubed minus cubed b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. The way I memorize is the first term I always follow the sign, and there's only one minus sign. Similar for this one, the first term follows. Second term is where the minus sign is here, plus b squared. Okay. The best way to memorize this, if you wanted to, is actually just multiply them out a couple times, then you bring kind of take over. All right. Let's get back to how we factor this one. There's actually two methods. Let's do the complete method, and I, I think it's a more elegant um, square minus one. This is a different square because it's cube minus one, cube plus one. Okay, this one factors completely in one step, basically. One uh, minus one, y squared plus y plus one times y cube. Uh, y plus 1, then y squared minus y plus 1. Okay, so all I did it was using the formula I listed before. It does help to have the formula handy, but it's not a requirement. All right, now this is one step. If you see the cube, great. If you don't see it, a lot of students say, well, what's wrong with factoring this way? 6 minus 1. There's nothing wrong with this um, near the end. There is, however, a tiny little step you do have to take into consideration. So we're going to take this one as a. Okay, so first thing is y squared minus 1. And next one is y squared squared. Since I already have a minus sign here, I'm going to do plus and then plus 1. Okay, this becomes y minus 1, y plus 1. That's the easy part. And then the second part is y to the fourth plus y squared plus 1. Okay. Now, if you look carefully, this results from one method does have two terms that matches. And then I have this awkward term that doesn't quite match those two. Okay. Now, however, um, if you factor this one more, this is the trick I was talking about before, you might not see it before, but if you see it once, it's pretty easy to recognize it the second time. The trick involves this, y to the fourth, okay, I'm going to do plus 2y squared, I'm going to plus 1, and then I'm going to do minus y squared, okay. The reason is that I see this one is going to complete well, those two combine and give you the plus y square. But this one is a complete square in that it's y squared plus 1, the whole thing squared, then minus y squared. Ah, from here, you'll see, what, minus 1, let's copy this part. Okay, from here, you can see difference square comes in. Let's equal to y minus 1, y plus 1. Okay, from here, you'll see it's y squared plus 1 minus y for one of them y squared plus 1 plus y for the second. Okay, now do I have just enough room to see this is exactly where we got from the first time. Okay, so they are indeed the same answer. Um, now how are you going to recognize this? Like I said, it's from experience. If you've seen it once, you'll see it uh, next time you'll recognize it. If there's a square and a square term, uh, fourth and the square term, there's a clue in there. You do have to use different square one more time. Okay, hope this helped. Have a confident day.